yeah I, i'll come in here because like pe people i've chatted with this about to people and they say like yeah well think about it they're, they're like gps i mean that that uses einstein's gravity theory and i was trying to argue like well you don't know whether it does but I, at the time i didn't even know they 100 percent didn't know right like no one knows how gps works okay and as you told me they've said that they use special the, these particular ideas, these particular algorithms, like, okay, so what we do is, you know, we bounce it off the satellites, et cetera. We triangulate this from satellite to satellite, blah, blah, blah. All right. But that is not known. That is just believed again. So right. your suggestion to me was that they just are using the, the towers, right? Well, yeah, that's it. I mean, they, they, they do put, satellites on hot air balloons up into the sky and get gather some sure. data from that but yeah the you know all the phone stuff that we think we do that goes bounces off of satellites and everything that's it's that's not the case it's all cell towers terrestrial towers is is what makes gps run it's interesting how you're like like the the belief in the globe can kind of like rest on your unchecked belief in gps you're like gps right like you don't even know that that's just closed source code owned by well let's say the cabal potentially or exactly <laughs> you don't even check that you're just like oh yeah gps yeah that's open source right yeah everyone uses it yeah no not true not true so sometimes you have this evidence in your mind that you think exists and helps you prove your point it doesn't Right. And that's Completely been the false. flat earth movement for the last 10 years is that, you know, a lot of flat earthers, flat earthers will say, we know the globe model better than the globe earthers because we had to go and see what their claims were and figure out how they were misled or deceived along the way. So this mm -hmm. is all, you know, all of this is a result of people making claims that they believed were true and the flat earthers discovering the problems with their claims. This is just one of the many. It's a biggie. Uh, we got a good one here. This one's really good. The flight paths in the Southern Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. So whenever I have gone to Skyscanner and tried to get a flight, for example, from Johannesburg to Perth or from Sydney to Buenos Aires, right? The kind of flight path that the fastest way to get there would just be to you know, stay on the same parallel down south and go straight across direct flight. Mm -hmm. There has never been a direct flight, <laughs> right? It's always like if you want to go from Johannesburg, well, you could go up to, for example, Abu Dhabi and come back down, right? Or Buenos Aires, you could go up to Mexico or something like that and then cross and down. It's, al it's always you got to go north, then across, then down. There's never any straight across south. But I hear the craziest responses to this. I hear people tell me, oh, no, no. Like, I, I got to admit, this isn't social media. This isn't in real life. Social media, people say, oh, no, I took a flight. I took a direct flight. They exist. Go check. I'll go check. No, they don't exist. So that's weird to me. There are but, a few, you know, but they're People very should specific. go check themselves. Yeah, they're, they're very specific. It, what, what, what's interesting, the few that do exist, if you, if you look at the flat earth model map, you can see why those might exist because those two points on the on the flat earth map are fairly close together whereas like you know like sydney to santiago or something like that right that, that's like you know this huge massive circle so there's no there's never a direct flight mm -hmm. for, for things like that uh, i think like like perth to tokyo or something might exist and and you fly right over los angeles to get there you know or, you know things like this that uh, on the flat earth map, you would say that wouldn't work, but th there it is. So yeah, it, that's it. it's important to note, right? That almost every time somebody wants to fly from a Southern co continent to another Southern continent, there's always a, you know, a hop in the North. Yeah. Uh, and the excuse is, is that there are more passengers to pick up, but you, you got to wonder about that excuse <laughs> because if the plane's full in Santiago, Chile, why do you need to pick up more people in London, right? Just fly to straight to <laughs> Sydney, right? Like, well, you don't need to fill it up anymore. Uh, yeah. You, don't, you well, never. Why not just have half the amount of flights? 
right? There's so many other solutions, right? What you don't see is flights from the north picking up people going down into the southern hemisphere and then picking them up and then going back up to a northern destination. So that's never the right. case. So there's so. an explanation. Oh, it's not a profitable route for the airlines to have. And, you know, you have to come at this from a logistics point of view. And it's like, well, you're not coming at it from a logistics point of view. You're just throwing that word up and trying to hide behind it. Like, wait, there's never been one flight, like one documentable flight that I can get a video of or like where I can't look at any time and book one at all. There's just none, not a single one because it's not a profitable route. Oh, come on. You know, like there's the lengths one, people will go to to defend it is just crazy. There's one interesting case uh, that, that Max Egan, who is an Australian guy, he runs a channel called The Crow House on a bunch of different platforms, you know, kicked off YouTube long ago. Um, but he's, a, you know, been a conspiracy realist for, you know, 20 odd years. He actually still doesn't believe in the flat earth. He still basically, he says, I don't know, but he doesn't side with the flat earthers uh, in any particular uh, way. But he actually brought a compass with him on a fl on a southern flight, and it was supposed there were points in it when you know he's looking at the on screen GPS tracker that you get on a lot of these mm. big flights, mm -hmm. and it would show you know shows shows you a little picture of an airplane and the continents and where you are, and there were numerous cases where he, his compass was showing that the plane was flying south southwest, but the GPS was saying they were flying north northwest, and he thought you know, maybe there's something wrong with his compass, even though it worked perfectly before the flight and after the flight. He was wondering if there's something that threw it off during the flight. But the guys that he gave that information to went and looked at what the flight should look like on a flat earth map. And it was a south southwesterly route the whole way. So right. it's an interesting example of tying together the, the flight routes and the GPS, right? The GPS was saying basically the exact opposite. They were going, they were going 180 degree difference than what his compass was saying in that moment.